Welcome sa sipnayan.com. In the previous video, ang kung napanood niyo ang pinag-usapan natin ay yung uh, relationship ng graphs ng function ng y equals uh, a f of x tsaka y equals a times f of x, no? where a is greater than 0. No? Ang pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon ay yung graph ng o yung relationship ng functions na y equals f of x tsaka y equals f of bx. And again, b here is greater than 0. So para mas madali nating mapag-usapan, pwede na tayong magkaroon ng, ano, no, ng uh, uh, specific function. For example, f of x uh, equals x squared. At saka g of x equals f of 2x. Kunwari, kunwari ang b natin ay 2. No? So... Siguro ang pinaka-intuitive pinaka na o pinaka-practical na gawin dito is to create a table and see the relationship between the graphs no, of these two. No? So here we have, uh, prepare na ako no, sa Excel. This is our x and this is our f of x. No? Uh, and we know that f of x equals x squared. So ibig sabihin, itong uh, column na to square siya nito mga numbers na nandito. No? And then we want to find g of x, which is f of 2x. Because we have to, uh, pinakamadali is to multiply x by 2 para makuha, makuha natin yung 2x, diba? So 2 times this part, no? Yung nandito, no? a2. And as you can see, naging negative 10 siya kasi yung negative 5, multiply natin siya by 2. Okay, so we can drag this and uh, as you can see these points or these numbers are twice these numbers, no? And dito makikuha na rin natin yung uh, uh, g of x by ano ang ginawa natin, di ba? Any square natin dito. So pwede na natin din square yung numbers dito. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I think the first impression or the first... Uh, thing na ma-observe natin is that g of x ay di hamak na mas malaki yung mga numbers niya dun sa uh, f of x, no? And uh, habang patas na patas yung number, palaki ng palaki yung agwat, no? Makikita, kung makikita yung 25 tsaka 175, tapos 16 tsaka 64, I think that's 48. And except sa 0, na pareho silang tatlo. And Ano kaya ang implication niyan sa graph, no? Now, kung makikita ninyo, this is the graph of uh, f of x. Yung kulay... Uh, parang violet ba yan? Yan, dito tayo mag-start. No? So, yung violet, ito yung f of x natin. And kung makikita nyo, yung ating g of x, which is equal to f of 2x ay mas malapit siya doon sa y-axis. Bakit ganun, no? Kung makikita ninyo, um, balikan natin yung table. For example, sa f of f of 1, for example. Ito yung f of 1 natin. Ito yung f of 1. Yung y-value natin, yung x natin dyan 1 at yung y natin ay 1. Pero yung g of 1, ito yung magiging 4 siya. So, kung makikita nyo, Ito yung x equals 1 natin. Ito yung f of 1 natin. Yan. While dun sa g, this is the function g, yung x equals 1 natin ay mas mataas siya. Yung value ng function, mas mataas. So therefore, mas mataas yung coordinate ng, uh, y coordinate ng point. No? So for a particular value of x, mas mataas yung values ng uh, their corresponding value of y nag equal lang sila dito sa zero, no? Okay, so ano bang relationship ng dalawang yun? For example, um, we have uh, we have the points, for example, 2, 4. No? Ano tayong point na 2, 4 doon sa graph ng F natin? Now, we want to get the corresponding point, no? With the same y value, no? kasi equal silang dalawa, f of x equals, uh, but g of x equals f of 2x, no? So, same y value, pero magkakaiba sila ng x, no? 
So said G, I want to, uh, I have here F, no? I want to get the uh, input, ang input dito is 2x, ang input dito is x. So ang gagawin ko is, since this is 2x, which is equal to 2, I can equate that 2x equals to 2. And I have 2x over 2 equals 1. No? Ibig sabihin nito, ang f of, ang g of 1 ko, this is my g, g of 1, is actually equal to f of 2, no? Which is equal to, ano ang 2 natin dito? 2 squared. No? And if I have the point uh, 416, for example, again, I still have 4 here. So, pwede ako mag 2x equals 4. x equals 2. Meaning, I have g of 2 equals f of 4 which is equal to ano to? this is 4 squared yeah, 4 squared no? which is equal to 16 this is 4 and this is 16 so ito yung dalawang points natin kanina diba? mas mataas yung mas mataas yung uh, value ng g kasi sa 1 ang g natin ay 4 at ang sa 1 naman ng, pag nag f of 1 tayo ang g natin ay 1 squared which is 1 Kaya mas malapit siya sa, sa y-axis, mas matataas yung mga y-values niya. Ibig sabihin, if I have a number, um, uh, for example, f of, for, I have a point A, no? A, B. Ibig sabihin, uh, at, uh, at uh, the function f, ang mangyayari sa akin is I have to equate um, 2x, no? So, 2, 4, for example, ano ginawa natin? Inequate natin yung, yung 2x doon sa, doon sa, dito sa y value, no? So, we have to equate 2x, uh, not, not the y value, but the x value. We have a, and x equals a over 2. No? So, ibig sabihin, g of a over 2 is equal to f of a, no? which is equal to a squared. Okay? So, kalahati nung sa, pag ang b mo ay 2, ang b natin dito ay 2, di ba? Sinandito tayo. Kalahati siya nung uh, value nung g of, yung input mo sa g, yung sa input mo sa a. No? And, from here, we can conclude that, no? Uh, suppose f is a function and b is greater than 0 to graph y equals b. Uh, x, divide all the coordinates of x, or all of the x coordinates of the points on the graph of f by b. Kanina ang b natin ay 2. No? Of course, pag naging 3x tayo, divide natin by 3. Pag naging 4 tayo, divide natin by 4. We say that the graph of f has been horizontally scaled by a factor of 1 over b. Here, if b is greater than 1, then we can say that the graph of f has undergone horizontal shrinking or compression by a factor of b. So, dito, nag-horizontal shrinking tayo, no? By a factor of how many? By a factor of 2, no? So, nag-shrink tayo ng uh, 2. Okay, so I think that's it. Ang susunod na video natin ay uh, I hope na-connect nyo ito, no? F of Bx is dinidivide natin yung uh, x coordinates ng points dun sa graph by B. Kanina dinivide natin yung yung uh, points no? yung points or yung coordinates ng x o yung x-coordinates, dinibide natin ng 2 para makuha natin yung uh, coordinate dito ng yung input natin sa functional g. No? So, I hope malinaw ito. No? Medyo, may, ito yung medyo nakakalit na part ng precalculus. Maraming salamat and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Uh, bisitahin nyo ating ano, no? yung website sa zipline.com uh, Nandyan yung ating uh, listahan ng mga videos natin. 
course you can comment you can also like us on facebook and uh, continue to uh, learn mathematics maraming salamat see you in the next tutorial